Hey guys, I hope you can see this. I hope it's not too dark. Um, but in honor of May Day, or known as Belting Day, um, I want to do something a little extra special for Bass because Belting Day is all about love. And I haven't done a video on it for it yet on this channel, but I will. Love is all about, I might actually do it today. Um, but anyway, love actually means desire and will. Um, that's a little tidbit when um, you're doing any form of love spell to call any form of love in your life or if you, you know, do love spells of people to force them to love you, then love actually means desire and will, so there is a little tricky to it. But anyway, um, I am dressing a special candle for um, Bass today um, in honor of Beltane's Day. And I don't really celebrate too many Wiccan holidays, but this one is one of the ones I love, and I'll explain um, a little bit here, but I'll probably do another video for it later on. Um, Beltane's Day, it, like I said, is a day of love and sensuality, but it's also the day where the Cosmic Mother mates with the um, the, land, the Earthbound Father. And within this mating, within this, by mating, I do mean sex, the, sex, uh, mating of the, the energies um, sexually. But within this mating, it creates, a, it creates a thinness between the veils between worlds because they're so close and entwined today. Um, well, actually, what I mean by today, I mean from sunset to sunset tomorrow. So Sunday, April 30th to sunset May 1st. So that's what I mean by today because it actually starts tonight and t all the way up to tomorrow night. But like as I said, as the cosmic mother meets with the um, Father Earth, and in my studies and how I do my magic, the Earth is actually male and the cosmos is female. So that's for me and my studies, how I do it. Um, but in, that, in their mating, it creates a thin veil. Because they're so close together, it creates a thin veil. So it's a great day for spiritual meditation for um, outside of love and sex and all the other stuff like um, renewing your vows, um, hand fasting, and any type of love ritual. It's um, also a great day to, to meditate because the spiritual is right there. Like you can reach out and touch it. Um, the great day, other than Silence Day, this is the other great day to connect to the spirits. So with that, I want a better connection to spirits and guys, like I said, because the bill is so thin. So with that, I want to just honor my connection with Bass. So um, I've already written some stuff on a candle. Um, this is a form of a magical language. Oh, it got a little darker. can't see. But anyway, this is a form of a magical language. And I'm not really going to say what the magical language says because that's between me and her. This is also a candle I already had for her with um, other writings on it that I said that I'm actually going to reseed that y'all see too here. So let me get started. First, I did already sage the candle. So now I just want to bless it. And again, this is everything that I do. This is, um, I'm very eclectic in my ways, so it's not connected to any particular, excuse me, I feel like I want to belch. <laughs> and I can't help it, I feel like I want to belch, but it's not coming out, whatever. But anyway, this is the way I do it. It is not connected to any particular um, path. It's just how I do it, and I'm looking for... Oh, I am looking for... I don't even have it in this room. Where is it? Okay, I'll be right back, because I am looking for my Florida water, which I don't say water. Yes, it's not clear. It is murky, because I make it myself. Um, this is the old Patron bottle for those of you who drink tequila already know. Thank goodness I have friends who, I don't drink tequila as much. I'm not saying that I don't, but thank goodness I have friends who drink a little bit more than me, so I have them save the bottles for me because they are great for stuff. I have another tequila bottle with the, um, can y'all see that? With um, herbs in it, and this is my herbs for, um, really for love, spell, love spells and things to do with love, but also, um, divination because love means desire so I wanted that wanted the the potency of desire but also has the herbs for divination in it um, and one of them is lemongrass because I love lemongrass um, <coughs> and one of the desire herbs in there is jasmine but that's all I'm going to say that's in this bottle um, and no, I won't be talking because this is private okay so what I'm going to be doing for and I don't see her oil oh here we go okay 
So I'm only going to address this candle. As I said, I already saged it. I already wrote on it. So it's just a few more things that I want to add to it. Um, first thing first is that I want to take the Florida, my own batch of Florida water. And what I really want to do is I, know I use the top that comes with it. Because even though it's a cheap wood, it's still wood. It's not plastic. It's still natural. So to me, it's like a little mini wine. So I'm just go down there and wipe it right on the candle. And then put some on my finger. Now you're, when you, um, I don't even know what it's really called, but when you study other cultures, your ring finger is actually your left finger. So I'm going to use my ring finger to anoint the wick and bless the wick. And yes, I'm, as I'm talking, I'm actually saying something in my head. Um, something quick y'all can say if y'all what making a candle for y'all deities today is um, blessed to be the God or goddess that is he or she. Um, so real quick, so I'm just going up, make sure I get all parts of the wick with my with my love finger, which is your ring finger. Um, and I'm doing my left hand for a purpose because the left side of the body is connected to the right side of the brain, and the right side of the brain is what's connected to your subconscious, to the spiritual room. So yeah, everything I do does have an um, actual purpose. Okay, so now that's that done, that's done. I'm going to anoint with a few more oils. Um, peppermint. Now, when working with baths, I do not work traditionally. Um, I go by what she gives me in dreams and what she tells me to do when, when I'm just sitting there and staring at the candle, things that she gives me she wants me to do, which I have realized over the years that it, it is way different than what a lot of people do, and it is not traditional. So... I'm going to use peppermint because peppermint is good for um, protection, which I have a couple of things for protection because I want our connection to be protected. But it's good for protection, it's good for money, it's just it's, it's good to bring freshness into the relationship because it awakens the senses. Just take that, and again with this finger right here, I'm going to go in a clockwise manner because I want to bring these things toward me, toward us. And everybody, this is a seven-day candle, and I will let it burn for seven days. And everybody dresses theirs differently. Also, I know on camera this looks pink, but that's because it's a Walmart candle. <laughs> so in Walmart, Walmartology, or Walmartese, this is actually red. Um, but I like the this because I don't really use pink for her. Um, I'd rather use red because I want that passion, that desire, that fast hotness, that boldness, that fire that is her in there. And pink, and it has so it has a little tone of pink. It um, you know makes it a little more sensual, a little more smooth, a little more um, agreeable to I want to say to me, but to whatever, uh, well, to my spirit guides and whatever other spirits that need to work with me through baths, if they're not uh, completely other energy, makes it a little more agreeable. Um, let's see, rosemary. Rosemary is just more for like a divine connection. Just a few drops in there. And no, on this, I do not count the drops. And I know Bass has a sacred number, but the number Bass gave to me for a sacred number to work with her is um, 13. Um, with me, she will not use any other number but 9 or 13. And if I use any other number when doing things with her, the candle will go out. So... And before you say that's not bad, yes, it is her. Like I said, they work with me, um, not only bad, but others work with me differently. This is lemongrass, and lemongrass is also for the, um, it's great for divination. I mean, excellent for divination. Actually, lemongrass is my favorite essential oil. Um, it's not my favorite herb. Okay, so I have that. Now, what I have here is just a, uh, oil is coconut oil based not olive oil um coconut oil is just one of the like my signature oil over olive oil and i noticed that when i work with coconut oil as bases and not olive oil um it goes better not saying i can't work with olive oil but it just goes a lot better with coconut oil when i use it as a base so i don't want to smell so oh, it smells divine um so not only am i going to take this oops my finger Let's see if I can just transfer that. 
I don't want to use. Well, yeah, I want to use both fingers now that I think about it. So I'm gonna, for this, I'm going to use both fingers. Because this is your pointer finger, it's your direction, the direction you want to go. And so that's going to lead in. And then I'm going to use this finger again. Show that I want a divine connection. And I want to set them at the top of the candle. And all in the glass. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off my hands a little bit. Oh, excuse me, guys. Mm. And this right here is just black powder that I make. Um, this is an old bottle, once again, that I just love. For some reason, old, I, when my husband finds bottles, I just tell him to grab them sometimes when we cleanse them. Because they just like, for some reason, alcohol bottles is just like the best for um, doing this type of stuff. But this is just a little bit of black powder that I'm making. It's for protection. And I'm putting just a little bit in here, again, clockwise manner, because I want our connection to be protected. And then I'm going to put a little bit in more with my ring finger, because I want the divine connection to be protected, that, uh, that higher nature, that, that spiritual connection. I'm oh, sorry. I got distracted for a second. Where was I? Okay, so now that the uh <coughs> my protection powder is in there, let's wipe that off a little bit. I'm going to take my desire or love slash divination. And the reason why I like to mix anything with love with any form of divination herbs is because it don't it doesn't make it a lustful desire. It makes it a spiritual desire. So it makes it a little bit longer lasting. So I'm gonna sprinkle that in there again the clockwise with the pointer finger for direction that I want to go in, and then the marriage finger, or the desire finger, if that's what you want to call it. So now that's, now that that's into it, I just want to, um, what about the way the camera? I want to breathe life into it. And by breathing life into it, you either blow into the candle or you speak something directly into the candle, which I'm going to pull it closer to me, and no, I'm not going on camera to do this. So you can say, um, things that you can say for, like, love, if you're doing a candle just for you and your hubby, um, your spouse, your hand fasted, if your partner, whatever you call that, that special person. Um, these are not things, um, I, these are not things that, uh, to overpower them. Um, and, and when doing love spells, desire spells, I don't believe in, I believe there has to be a desire there to work with. I don't believe in creating that desire in them. Stuff like that, I have all, I have never done stuff like that, but I've always seen it backfire. And that's just something, why would you want somebody that doesn't desire you? You know what I mean? Why would you have to put that desire in them? If you have to put that desire in them, you have to maintain that desire in them. And that ends up becoming a lot of work. And if you're not doing the work yourself, that would become really expensive, really expensive. Um, to maintain that desire in them. And eventually, desires change. So what happens when your desire wears off on them, but all that work in them didn't wear off, all that work in them is still magically going inside them, and you no longer want them no more. Your desire changed. You want something new. So that's why I don't do that type of work. But if both y'all in agreement and y'all desire each other, even if it's new and y'all want to see where it go, or if y'all been together for years and, um, Y'all have been together for years, and y'all just want to, you know, make sure it stays fresh and down. Uh, like I said, I, I, well, I don't think I said it in this video, but I work with the Bible a lot, and Song of Solomon is perfect for it. Um, Song of Solomon 6-3, I believe, just that verse. And the verse goes, I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Just doing that chant during meditation and thinking of that person or bring that connection closer, especially if y'all do that chant together. Um, if you light a candle, that's what you can say over the candle. Or instead of saying beloved, say the actual person's name. Um, you can say that over the candle. Um, that's, that's just a quick one. Song of Solomon 4, the whole thing, if you want to get in depth with, in depth with it. The whole thing is great for igniting that passion, keeping that passion going. Um, there's other things in there, but I'm not going to give out all my secrets. Those are just two. <laughs> I'm so, yeah, you could do that. Um, also, secret, the way I'm dressing this candle is also a way that you can dress a candle. Um, if you're going to do 
um, candle ritual or love ritual and use what I said to do. So give me a second to speak into the candle. And I will not say what I said because that's personal between me. If you heard it, you heard it, but that's personal between me and her, so I'm not going to repeat it. Um, now that um, when you put when you breathe into the candle, it's like breathing life into the candle, giving your energy to the candle. So when the, and, and the day Bass is already here, like I said, I already have another candle for her lit. So she's overseeing everything, and I actually can't see the flame to tell if she's liking it or not. And she's working it out. She's working out. She's normally like that. She's very um wait till the final stages and see how it all comes together type of person. She's not just, oh, I like it from the beginning. No. She's uh, highly intelligent. She's, uh, it's not enough words for me to explain, to explain that because I'm still on the line for her. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I got incense going on over here for her. And it's, um, right now it's jasmine incense, so when it goes out, I'm going to burn some rose incense. So I figure out where I put the rose incense. I have no clue where I put the rose incense, but did it fall? Anyway, when I, I have more somewhere, I just thought I had one specifically set aside for her. I do have one specifically set aside for her. Okay, anyway, um, so now, this is my personal signature. I use pomegranate from everything. And this, to me, this is not considered feeding the candle. To me, since her energy is going to be in the candle once I light it, this is my offering to her. And she loves pomegranates. And again, like I said, I work at 13 with her, either 9 or 13. And nine is divine spirit, but what most people don't know that thirteen is really the whole um, the great mother goddess, if you if you will, energy. I don't know if this is very particular clockwise manner. I know I'm not using my um, ring finger to put it in, but I am at least touching it with my ring finger. But like I said, 13 is, is the secret number. Most people, if you really study the occult, you know 13 is actually the hidden number of spirits. Um, there's, thir there's more than uh, 13 chakras, but there's actually 13 major chakras. Uh, I mostly work with 7, but there are 13 major chakras. And let me count that to make sure I don't have more than enough. 2, 3, 4, 5. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need three more. And as I said, pomegranate is um uh, is believed to be the fruit of the gods. Okay, I was recording and then I noticed that my camera froze, so I have no idea what recorded and what not. Um, I'm sorry if uh, I, I, the candle's done, so I can't redo it. Um, I'm sorry if you didn't get to see all of it. I'm still going to put it up. Um, but the candle's done now. Everything's in it. I have no idea what recorded and what not. These little things, they have pomegranates if that didn't record. And like I was saying, that that's my signature. Um, that's just like my signature was, is pomegranates. It's also considered the fruit of the gods. And if you're doing very light spell work that may... Um, well, no. Obviously, if that part didn't record, it wasn't meant to be said, so I'm going to leave that out. That may have been bad saying, keep that secret to myself. But anyway, the candle's done. This is it. No, I will not say what's on the candle. This is a particular magical language that I use. Um, but yeah, this is my candle to bed for a uh, bell team's death. So, thank you for watching, and peace.